had the pleasure of reading 1,233 ideas last year. And it was amazing to me how many people did not touch on these things. Now, it doesn't mean you need to use these words because that's wasting 100 words, but a lot of the ideas that came along were very vague. They were very, this could be something, it isn't something. So just, just try and, um, and the word to, to, if you take a word away tonight, it's evidence. Try with your 100 words to evidence in some way how you are original, how you're going to successfully execute this idea, how you're going to make money from it, how you're going to do it from Wellington, and obviously be clear in what you say. Okay? And don't spend your hundred words just describing the idea. So I'll give you some examples, and I'm, I'm, I'm making this up rather than having the actual hundred words in front of me. But the winner for the 2010 Bright Ideas Challenge was a man called Sunil Vaitha with a company called I'm Able. Now I don't know, does anybody know about last year's winner? No? Well that's good. <laughs> um, okay, so um, around the world there are millions of people that suffer from strokes. I can't remember what the number is but that's how we started. Around the world there's millions of people so immediately we go, oh, okay. Um, and I have a product that is going to speed up the recovery of those people. So first of all we go, wow, big market. Then we go, problem being solved. And, and then um, it, it had a story about uh, um, a person had a stroke. Within 28 days, they went from not being able to move to being able to tie their own shoelaces. And uh, they also put in this thing that stroke, strokes around the world are costing billions and billions of dollars per year in, in healthcare. So immediately we're going, wow, you know, big market, um, it's got a, um, you know, this guy's got a solution. And then um, he also put something, which I can't remember what it was, but it was something like either patentable technology or it's patented or something. But very simply, he told us a story. You know, it's a big problem, it's worldwide, I have a solution, nobody else has it. And we're like immediately um, paying attention. Now, a lot of people put in ideas, and it's not this broad ideas, it's not challenging about, wow, well, we are looking for the next Richard Branson, but you know, some people, like they put in ideas for restaurants, and an idea for a restaurant is not a bad idea if anybody here is going to have that idea, but they just describe restaurants that are exactly like every restaurant down in Courtney Place. So what was there that was original about it? Um, they didn't say anything about they were a chef or they had any experience in hospitality. Um, they didn't say anything about how, how big the restaurant was going to be. They didn't say anything that made it particularly um, that it could be done from Wellington, and the presentation was not clear. So it's not, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to do this, but just try and concentrate on those, on those small things. Um, but if you are a rocket scientist. Great. Yeah, and we actually do have a rocket scientist working with us, so if you want to have your photograph taken with him or get his autograph, you're very welcome. <laughs> it's the only rocket scientist I've ever met, so you know, it's good for me. Um, but you know, and also just using Mark and Nick's words, think about the pain or the problem that you're solving. Because the guy that won last year, in one sentence, told us the problem he was solving. I help people recover from strokes. And it's a big problem, you know. And we were, wow, that's great. Um, and, and also, just, just a few things, um, you can enter twice. We can give feedback, we stagger the feedback throughout the Bright Ideas Challenge. So, the smart money would be, have a go now. The first lot of feedback, we start somewhere around the end of May, um, early June. So then you can get feedback and hopefully, if you want to, do, if you want to um, have another go. Now you don't have to wait until midnight on the 26th of June to put on your idea. And also something that's really important is get someone else to look at it. It doesn't need to be a professional power picture like Mark, although that would be ideal, or someone like Nick, even if you get your neighbour to look at it. Because the problem is, is that you know you, but we don't know you. So if you've missed off your entry the fact that you're an engineer and you've come up with a clean tech solution, 
but you didn't tell us you were an engineer, then how, we can't know that. You know, so if you get someone that's totally unrelated to, to what you're doing to look at it and just say to them, you know, have I answered these questions, they'll say yes or no. And we had quite a few people in the Bright Ideas last year that over the process of the Bright Ideas, they put in ideas that we thought were quite average. Every idea we followed up, we made contact with them, and quite a number of people we found out after some time, they actually had a really amazing idea, but they just hadn't told us. Um, so just, just try and, um, you know, try and cover these kinds of things off in your ideas. Um, and just, just a few things. Um, so so we'll, everybody that enters an idea is going to get um, some feedback and some support. So when you enter your idea, someone will contact you and they're going to ask you about your idea and where you're at and things like that. And then everybody's going to get a report with um, our comments on how, where you're at on those various criteria and our recommendations or our support for what you can do, what you can do next. Um, although there is a prize for $25,000, um, there is last year we had over $500,000 worth of support came in from the innovation community both in Wellington and all over the country. So it's not just, I don't want you to think it's a competition and either I win $25,000 or I don't. Um, it's all about helping as many Wellingtonians as possible to take their business idea to the next level. So if the only thing that you get out of it is how to pitch your idea in 100 words and then you meet an investor in an elevator one day and you tell them in 100 words what you can do, you know, you've still got something out of it. So don't, don't, don't let yourself fall into that trap of, well, I'm, I'm not going to end it because I don't think I can win. Because the feedback that we got from last year was that so many people got so much, so much out of it. Um, and just um, also, you can enter, um, what we call it the Bright Ideas Challenge, you can um, enter ideas at various different stages and we compare apples with apples, okay? So we're expecting to get ideas that are simply ideas, we're expecting to get ideas that are a research and development stage, um, a, a prototype stage, a pilot stage, or even revenue generating. Now it doesn't mean, um, you know, it, it doesn't, the $25,000 is not necessarily going to go to just an idea or just a prototype or a revenue generating stage. That what The stage that you're at doesn't mean anything in terms of $25,000. What it means is what kind of support would be best for you to go to the next, to the next level. Um, okay, and I'd also just really encourage you to come to as many workshops as you can, both for, yes, we want all of you here to win the Bright Ideas Challenge and to all win $25,000, but unfortunately because we only have one prize, that's unlikely to happen, but you know, we, we want all of you here to do really well, to move, to move up ranks and get that serious support from the innovation community, but if that doesn't happen, we still want you to be able to take your, your business idea to the next level. So I really encourage you to come along to the workshops and learn what you can um, about how to develop your business. And we found a number of people last year, they entered the, the, the Bright Ideas and by the time that we got to allocating them support, for example, some of them really wanted investment, by the time we finished the Bright Ideas Challenge and introduced them to the investors, they already had investment, you know, because it had happened for them along the way. So really use the Bright Ideas in that way.